Today we're going to derive a nice inequality that was part of the 2007 International Math Olympiad shortlist. And this in fact comes from a book that I have called the IMO Compendium. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, that's a really great book to check out. Okay, so let's see what we have. We'd like to suppose that n is a positive integer and x and y are positive real numbers satisfying x to the n plus y to the n equals one. So that means that x and y are on this like generalization of a circle if you wanna think about it that, like that. Then our final goal is to show that the sum as k goes from one to n of one plus x to the two k over one plus x to the four k times the same sum where we've replaced x with y is less than one over one minus x times one minus y. And I think there's a pretty big hint built into the writing of this problem, and that is that the right-hand side of our inequality looks like a summed geometric series. So let's maybe recall real quick that if we take the sum as n goes from, or maybe we'll say k, k goes from zero to infinity of u to the k, we get one over one minus u. So again, like I said, that's sum of a geometric series. But if we take the sum, for instance, as k goes from one to n of u to the k, we get something slightly different. So in this case, we'll get u to the n plus one minus u over u minus one. And so that's a summation rule for a finite geometric series. Okay, so keeping that in mind, along with the fact that we've got this sum geometric series over here, perhaps we wanna build a tool so that these objects on the left-hand side look like geometric series instead of like this crazy sum of these rational expressions. And of course, we don't have to keep equality here, we can use an inequality. Okay, so let's maybe see how this might go. So let's note for t on the interval from zero to one, not including zero and not including one, we have the expression one minus t times one minus t cubed is bigger than zero. So that's pretty clear, I think. Okay, well let's expand this out and see what we get. So this means that t to the fourth minus t cubed minus t plus one is bigger than zero. And from that, we can see that t to the fourth plus one is bigger than t times t squared plus one, just by moving some things to the other side of the equation. But then by moving some things around, we'll end up with t squared plus one over t to the fourth plus one is less than one over t. So let's put a box around that because that's gonna be pretty useful because notice that that thing on the left-hand side of our inequality looks like the summands from these two sums. And then that thing on the right-hand side of the inequality looks like it could build this sum of a finite geometric series. Okay, so now let's maybe stick this type of object inside of our sum and see what we have. So we've got the sum as k goes from one to n of one plus t to the two k over one plus t to the four k is strictly less than the sum as k goes from one to n of one over t to the k power, where I'm applying my blue inequality to every term from this sum where I'm like replacing t with t to the k if you want. Okay, so now we can apply the rule for, like I said before, the finite sum of a geometric series. That'll leave us with one over t to the n plus one minus one over t over one over t minus one. So something like that. But that's a little bit difficult to look at, so maybe we can make it look a little nicer by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by t to the n plus one. That'll cancel out everything that I need. But in the denominator, I'll do it as t times t to the n. 
because if I multiply by t, I get something that looks like one of these terms. Okay, so let's see what that leaves us with. So we'll have one minus t to the n in the numerator, then in the denominator, we'll have t to the n and then one minus t. So we'll have something like that. Okay, so now let's actually bring this expression here and then we can finish it off. Okay, so we just derived the following inequality, which doesn't get us all the way there, but it gets us almost the way to our goal. And that's this sum of this rational expression involving our t's is less than one minus t to the n over t to the n times one minus t. That should be one minus t. Okay, great. And now what we'll do is take this inequality right here, so maybe I'll just write it with this red box or this red underline, we'll take this inequality and apply it to each of these terms, which I've written here that form the left-hand side of our goal expression. So applying that inequality to each of those gives us the following. So for the first, we'll have one minus x to the n over x to the n times one minus x. And for the second, we'll have the same thing, but x is being replaced with y. So one minus y to the n over y to the n times one minus y. But now we're essentially home free. We haven't really so much used that x to the n plus y to the n equals one, except to use the fact that x and y are between zero and one, which remember that's kind of built into all of this. But now we can use it more explicitly. So notice if x to the n plus y to the n is one, then one minus x to the n is equal to y to the n. And likewise, one minus y to the n is equal to x to the n. Setting up some nice cancellation of the y to the n's and the x to the n's. But after that cancellation, we're left with one over one minus x times one minus y, which is exactly where we wanted to end up. So I've done other problems that have been shortlisted for the Math Olympiad on this channel before. Now, maybe you'd like to check one of those out. It should be on the screen right now, and that's a good place to stop.